I'm doing my August favorites video for you all. I'm just going to tell you everything that I loved during the month of August. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to you guys who wished me a happy birthday. I turned 21 this month and I survived Vegas. So thank you for all your kind wishes because I did actually make it out alive. Grandma rallying. Grandma rallying basically being grandma went out. Woo. So without further ado, let's start off with the things that I loved this month. The first thing is from First Aid Beauty, and this is the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. I feel like I should have like an intensely deep thing about like, we all wear masks. Underneath it all is what's important. Don't put up a front. Children, be who you are. I really need more caffeine or less caffeine. I cannot decide. Moral of the story, I love this little baby, even though it kind of looks like you rub baby vomit on your face. And you sit there and you're like, there's baby vomit on my face. But then you wipe it off and your skin looks like a baby's butt. Maybe that's why babies look so good, because they just like barf all over their skin all the time. I found the secret. You're welcome. I have two hair care favorites. The first one is It's a Ten of Miracle Leave-In Product. This is just a little travel size one. And I really like it. I think it's a really good leave-in product for my hair. So I'm just a fan of this. And it's mini and it's cute. And we like it. <laughs> my most useful face of this month was or <laughs> my next favorite is the bumble and bumble hairdressers the invisible oil and this is like a uv heat protectant spray this is described as a, a mist of many wonders softens detangles defrizzes tin flyaways eases styling and protects against breakage heat styling and uv damage you can spray it on dry or wet hair i usually just spray it on my hair when it's wet and it really helps detangle my hair and brush it out and make it a lot smoother but then it also protects when i heat style it and it's great and i dropped it in my crotch First, I have a new foundation that I love, and it's the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. And I feel like everybody has been obsessed with this and talked about this forever, and I just never hopped on board. And then I recently went to Sephora, and I was like, I want a foundation that's really moisturizing. And they recommended this, and I tried it, and I love it. <sighs> Dude, did it literally look like I was about to throw up? <laughs> I was just burping sake. I love this. It's got really good coverage. It's really hydrating, and it lasts all day, and I'm just a huge fan. My next favorite is the Physician's Formula Super BB Powder. And this is just the powder I've been using to uh, set my makeup. It's really finely milled. Isn't that a term you're supposed to use? I don't even know what that means. I am a fan of you. Thanks for doing all that you do, home skillet. <gasps> my favorite word of the month has been homey or nugget. My favorite lip product is what I'm currently wearing on my lips right now. Oh, and there was a part two to this that I probably should have brought. That's also a favorite. Mm -hmm. This is the Bite Lip Liner in Nutmeg. I am obsessed with it. I wear it with every single different lipstick. I've been wearing this every single day, and I'm just... It's beautiful, it's amazing, and I can't get enough of it. My next favorite is a rediscovered product, and this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Homegirl got a little tan in Aruba, which is now pretty much all gone. I love this bronzer. I use it with a stippling brush all over my face to give it a nice healthy glow, but then I also go in with a blending brush, and I put it in the crease of my eyelids, and I use it as eyeshadow, because <laughs> I'm lazy. For blush, I'm pretty sure I've included this in my last three favorite videos, but I haven't worn any other blush. I'm sorry, and I love it, and it is Dallas by Benefit and I put it on my cheeks and it's super glowy and it just looks better than any other blush like ever. And then I also take a different brush and I apply this on my eyelid and I use it as eyeshadow. So lazy. My last makeup product is this Becca highlighter in Opal. I discovered the beauty of a highlighter actually when I was hungover after my 21st birthday. It happens, guys. My friend Marissa was like, put some highlighter on your face, you're gonna look a lot better and less like a sack of potatoes. And I did, and guess what? I did look better than a sack of potatoes. I look like a sack of sweet potatoes. And I apply it to my cheekbones, and then I also go in with an eyeshadow brush and I apply it to my inner corner and on my eyelid because that's how lazy I am. I use my blush, my bronzer, and my highlight for eyeshadow. I'm ratchet. Don't fight it. I have two favorite jewelry items for the month. The first one is this ring that I've been wearing. This is by, ooh, somebody, 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 hmm. I got it on Daily Look. It's by Vanessa Mooney, and I love her jewelry. I think it's so incredibly cute, but I love this. It's just this really pretty, really big thumb ring with this gorgeous turquoise stone, and I'm a huge fan. And my next jewelry favorite is actually one of the necklaces that I'm wearing right now. Seventeen Magazine actually got me a coordinates necklace, and the coordinates of this necklace are actually for the Young Actors Theater Camp, which is the location I was at when I hit a million subscribers, which was like the coolest thing in the entire world. I haven't filmed the video about what I did at camp or anything like that yet, but if you guys didn't know, I work with Seventeen Magazine as one of the faces of their YouTube channel, and my new show that's coming out with them is me going back 
back to my old summer camp and being a camp counselor. So I actually went back to YTC where I was a camper when I was like 13 and 14 years old and I became a counselor and I got a cabin full of the most amazing girls and it was the most amazing and rewarding experience in the entire world. I had so many subscribers who were at that camp who I got to really bond with and form personal connections with, who I text every single day, who I talk to on the phone, who I really feel like I got a better sense of knowing so many more of you guys. And then on top of all of that, while I was at camp, I hit a million subscribers. I'm so incredibly thankful. Like this has surpassed anything that my 16 year old self could have dreamed up in her bedroom when I was making this YouTube channel. This was such a hobby for me. And then when I went through a really dark time, it was the only thing that kept me going. And all of you have I can't even tell you how much you've changed my life. Even saying it, it doesn't seem real, like at all. Like saying like one million, of, yeah, like, oh my God. It doesn't feel real and I kind of like that <laughs> because I don't want it to ever feel like as I'm recording this video in my empty apartment by myself that I'm talking to like a sea of screaming fans because I'm not, like I'm talking to you, specifically you, on your computer screen. If you're having a bad day or you're having a good day or you just need a distraction from homework or life or something like that, that's what I always want this to be. And so Seventeen wanted to commemorate that specific occasion in a coordinates necklace. So yeah, it has the coordinates of camp, which I thought was so awesome and sweet and I've been wearing it like every day since I got it. And I'll let you guys know when that show comes out. I'm so excited for you all to see it. It was the most amazing experience I've literally ever, ever, ever had. My favorite movie of the month was Chef. And this movie is what I like to call uh, Instagram food porn in sense of a film. It was seriously amazing. It's basically about a guy who starts his own food truck. And it's so cool because I love food so much. Like so much. It's sad how much I love food. So not only are there like beautiful shots of like melted cheese where your eye you're like mm -hmm. A plus. I totally recommend it. Now on to books of the month. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't think I've ever read so many books in the course of one month. I read six books in the month of August. Yep, six books. Pretty much I read six books in the course of two weeks. I got real bored on family vacation. I'm gonna list all the books down below that I read and I'm also gonna have like a little like rating of what I thought of each of them. But I thought I'd tell you my favorite one out of the ones that I read was called Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. And I've talked about her books before and I love them. They're perfect for summer when I didn't wanna be like bawling on the beach like, oh my gosh. I wanted something romantic and cute and quick and easy to read and her books always completely satisfy when I'm looking for that. It's basically a cute little romantic book, I would say older audiences, not like in a Fifty Shades of Grey way. Just I mean like there's language and there's drinking and they're college kids. And I loved it so much that I would recommend it to you this month on audible.com. So if you guys aren't massive crazy readers at all, or if you're traveling, you don't want to carry a bunch of books with you, you can listen to it, which is awesome and amazing and great. So if you want to use audible.com slash Megan, you can get a 30 day free trial, which will get you a free book. So I'm recommending Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Like always, I made a music playlist for the month of August, but my absolute favorite song of the month of August is Nothing Arrived by The Villagers, and I'm just obsessed with this song. I listen to all my music on Spotify, so I've been listening to the Spotify acoustic version of it, and it's just so amazing and so good. It's been one of my favorite songs for a really long time, and having kind of an acoustic version of it, it just, it makes my life. It makes my life. I hope you guys had an amazing summer, and if you're going back to school, may the odds be ever in your favor. And let me know if you guys want me to do any back to school videos or things themed around fall, which is coming up. Let me know about that in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to keep updated with my life, and uh, I will see you guys on the flip side. I love you oodles and oodles.